oil sliding back below $85 a barrel on a 5% drop today. That's its lowest level in a month as OPEC left production levels unchanged. Just last week, we were talking about the prospect of $100 oil, but concerns about demand on a weaker global economy seem somewhat back in focus. Here to weigh in and explain how to invest in energy now is Rob Thummel, Senior Portfolio Manager at Tortoise. Rob, welcome. It's good to see you again. Thanks, Kelly. I'm going to skip right to a poster child today when you think, well, you know, energy stocks can skill, still do well in an $85 oil environment. What's going on with Devon, uh, for instance? It stocks down sharply today, down sharply this month. Uh, what's going on with investors in this space more broadly, do you think? Well, I think if you look at just, just the, the, the stocks that have commodity price exposure, clearly the decline in oil prices today is driving the, those stocks down lower. And Devon is a classic example of that. It's an oil and gas producer. Um, whose cash flows are predicated off the movement in oil prices. And so 5% decline in oil prices is, is going to result in, in Devon stock declining. You know, as you know, in the, in the second or in, in the third quarter, I mean, uh, oil prices were up substantially, and a lot of the energy stocks uh, rose uh, and, and performed pretty well during that quarter. So a little bit of profit taking and, as well as a little bit of lower cash flow as a result of that, and, and that's what you're seeing today at least. Right, but again, uh, just to stick with this uh, emblematic name, it's down 30% this year. So you would think, OK, well, you know, I, I mean, this is always the, the thing about investing in energy is they say, well, it might move with the, the move in crude, but it should still be profitable in the long run at, at these levels, for instance. Is that being called into question? Is there something else going on here? For, for Devin in particular? No, you know what? Devin is, is, a, is a high quality producer. Uh, you know, Devin has adopted what a lot of energy companies have, which is a, a disciplined approach to investing. Um, which means that, that basically they're not going to spend a lot of, of cash on, on drilling uh, expenditures. And so what that means is that Devin will have a lot of free cash flow, uh, and it will be able to buy back a lot of stock as well as uh, pay a, a dividend and a variable dividend. In Devin's case, it pays a variable dividend that obviously varies with the price of oil. So and that, I would expect in the, in, in, when it announces its, its dividend sometime here in the fourth quarter that the, div, the, the Devin dividend will be a little bit higher. Um, you know, why is it down 30%? This year, in some cases, it was because oil had a rough start to the year. Um, but there are a lot of other energy stocks that actually have, have done really well and are a lot, a lot less volatile than some of these commodity-sensitive stocks. So inventories are down in the second half of the year. Uh, volume cuts are in the pipeline, so to speak. So you would think that that would signal maybe higher prices, not lower, but we've certainly seen a stall in oil prices and a decline uh, today to prices that we haven't seen in a month or so. Why? Yeah, right, uh, right Tyler, you, and you're exactly right. And, you know, for the second half of the year, we still expect the, the global oil market to be undersupplied, so inventories fall. Typically, when inventories fall, as you highlight, prices rise. You know, today, that's, that's not happening. Inventories um, continue to fall, but prices are actually falling. Why is that? Uh, you know, I think Kelly mentioned it in, in, in the beginning of, uh, of the segment in saying that simply what the investors are interpreting today is the fact that the Saudis and the Russians decided to continue to prolong their, their voluntary supply cuts uh, as maybe that's a signal that the global economy is a little weaker and you don't need that oil. And, and so we'll see. Uh, at Tortoise, we still think that you're going to have an undersupplied oil market. You're probably going to continue to see higher oil prices. Um, but, but, but that will be driven um, really by these declining inventories that we'll see for the rest of the year. 